how to create payment forms in WordPress using this plugin. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we will be taking a look at how you can create payment forms in WordPress. So let's get into it. Now to get started, all you have to do is head on over to WordPress, to your WordPress dashboard, for your store and the reason why i recommend using a plugin to create your payment forms is because you're not going to have to actually download a third-party application or you won't have to pay extra just to be able to get paid because a lot of these times you want to use woocommerce you want to use shopify and a bunch of these integrations are going to cost you money so if you want a simple plugin, if you have a simple e-commerce store, like I've built a sample store just to show you guys, like it's a working functional store. It might not be the most aesthetic, but it's a functional store. And if you want to create a checkout form, so if I want to select options from over here, let's see, I selected my options. I add this to my cart and it doesn't go anywhere because, you know, I haven't created my checkout form or my payment form. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. It's very simple and easy. All you need to do is head on over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you are in your WordPress dashboard, you're going to scroll down. Now, I do have WooCommerce integrated. And if I go into my WooCommerce settings, so if I just open up my WooCommerce application over here, I can go into my WooCommerce settings. Once I'm in my settings, I can actually click on payments over here and I can accept payments from WooCommerce. So I can do cash on delivery, check payments, direct bank transfer and WooCommerce payment. So I can choose to install their plugin. But if you're using a simple website, let's say you have a simple website and you want to accept donations or you have some other reason that you're not using WooCommerce, then I'm going to show you guys how to create payment forms still. So for that, just go into your plugins on the bottom left of your screen. Once you go into your plugins, simply click on add new. And once you're in add new, you're going to search for your plugins and you're just going to search for a simple plugin called payment form. Once you search for payment form, you're going to get a bunch of different forms. And these form creators can not only be customized for payments, but you can use them for other things as well. But I like to use them specifically for payments. Now, there are certain specific ones as well that are for Stripe payments, that are better for Stripe payments or WooCommerce payments uh, and so on and so forth. But I like to use the Forminator contact form and payment form. This is the most customized and simple form that is, you know, uh, easy to use for most users and creators. So I'm just going to install that. And it only takes a couple of seconds to install. So we're just going to wait. And once you have installed it, you're just going to click on activate over here. And once you click on activate, this will lead you to your plugins. Once you're in your plugins, you're going to the uh, Forminator plugin over here and you're going to go into your settings. Now, this is these are just the number of, you know, basic items that you can get with your Forminator and this will open up the Forminator application in the left side of your, uh, the Forminator plugin in the left side of your screen. And from here, you can click on dashboard and you're going to click on create. Then you're going to choose what kind of template that you want. So you can choose a blank template, a contact us, newsletter, login, create, post, registration, or quote request. So let's say we want to create a simple payment form. So we can click on blank form and I'm going to enter the name as payment form. And I will simply create that. Let's say I have a pet shelter and I want to, you know, create a payment form for that. So it could be anything. Uh, you really are at the mercy of your business because whatever your business is, whatever kind of donations you might be taking, you can easily create a form for that, which is easy to understand for your customers as well as easy to build for you. So the first thing you have to do is enter your field. So for that, you can click on insert field and then you have multiple different fields. So first off, you want to include name, email, maybe you don't want their phone number or address. Maybe you just want to get file uploads or page, whatever it might be. So uh, let's say we only need this basic information and maybe I want their PayPal, Stripe or currency amount. So maybe I need this information. Let's say I only want the currency amount. And after that, you're going to click on insert fields. And these are the basic fields. And then you can add a message as well. So you can choose whatever button text you might want 
like this then you can add more fields as you like now with each of the fields that you've added you can click on settings over here and click on edit field and you can enter a default value that is put in you can also go into your settings and require it or make it optional so let's say this is a required field now if you don't put it as required it won't be required by the user so we want to make sure that it is required and let's say the maximum amount i can take is 600 dollars, and maybe i have a minimum order limit so maybe i don't take orders under 20 dollars so for that, I will enter minimum of 20 as the minimum amount because I don't want people to order other under $20. Now, after that, you have your calculation. So if you want to do calculations in this, then you also have styling and visibility, how you want it to appear. Now, this is a required field. I've set the currency. I've sent it as US dollars and I have labels and you're going to just click on apply over here. And this is a required field let's say i also want to make the name required so i will just click on edit field click on settings and make this required as well now after that you can click on appearance over here and choose how you want the pop-up form or your payment form to appear and after that you're just going to continue on with your form container your field container all of the basic appearance related queries of your form can be done from here let's say i want it to look flat and i want the colors to be customized let's say i want them all to be black and maybe i want the select button to be a bit more purplish in hue maybe i want the submit button to be reddish or pinkish whatever it might be so we can really pick any colors that we want to fit our brand's aesthetic now i'm going to click on behavior so how should your form be completed so after submission you can choose a message thank you for contacting us we will be in touch shortly i want to customize this and i want to send a different message so let's say i just wanted to say thank you for your purchase and then you also have your method and validation so um you can choose to validate certain fields to add submission as well and then you also have submission indicators now you also have security lifespan and rendering you don't really need to change these uh don't change any of the security settings or rendering settings i think if you're a beginner you don't really need to mess these up and leave them as they are then you have email notifications so if whenever someone does a payment you can get a notification on your email and that is another great way to monitor your business as well now after that you have integrations and you can choose to integrate with third-party apps on their premium versions but we're just going to continue then you have your settings so if you want to store these submissions in your database if you want a multiple option value and if you want certain privacy features turned on so just for the benefit of your customers now once i have completed everything this is my form now my form is ready to be embedded how do i embed my payment form well, it's very simple. You simply have to copy this short code and you're going to open up your website. So you can open up your store and click on edit with Elementor. And once you have opened up your store and begin editing with Elementor, you can see on Elementor, you have these basic widgets over here. And if you scroll down, you actually have a widget to enter code. I will show you guys. So it says short code over here. And I'm going to go into the shop section first because... That's where I want to enter that. And you can just, wherever you want to place your payment form, you're just going to scroll down and we're going to take the short code from our Elementor editor and drag and drop it over here. And then I will enter and paste my short code on the left side of the screen over here. And now you can see my code is appearing over here. So I can click on apply. And now the short code is here. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering, hey, uh, I have this now, but how do I exactly get those payments well it's a little tricky from there so for that you actually need to go into your forms and enable your payments so with your payment form you can edit the payment form and you can choose to unpublish it for the time being i just showed you guys how to set it up but to accept your payments you can click on add-ons and you can click on the stripe add-on and add stripe to your forminator as well as well as integrate and you know set forminator up specifically for payments as well so that was it for today. Now, if you click on the uh, setting section over here, you can connect to your Stripe or PayPal account, uh, you know, wherever you want to receive your funds from your users and receive your funds over there. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.